Hello everyone, this is Matthew Brand. Today I'm going to talk about the solution for low wages. So, in America we have an issue where people are just not making enough money to get by. It's just too many of them. And that is an issue. We shouldn't have it to be our goal that there's a lot of people not making enough money to get by. Now, if we were just thinking that that's what we would do with the teenagers or something like that, that would be fine. But this is not what's the issue. We have a lot of people who are, you know, young adults. We have a lot of people who are, you know, in their 20s, 30s, and 40s not making a decent amount of money. And then they get to 60, 70, they can't work anymore. They have nothing to fall back on. It's crashing a lot of businesses. And for people who it's not affecting, they don't seem to understand. So let me give you an explanation of why raising the minimum wage would not work. The problem is, I think anybody with any business sense would know that if a business had to raise their minimum wage, especially the big companies and corporations that pay minimum wage, uh, they would replace them with machines. I mean, McDonald's and airlines, they're already getting kiosks. The best, I mean, possible solution for them is to raise their prices and fire people and then work around the firing of people. There's no reason you should pay anybody minimum wage that much money they they'll reduce your hours to nothing and then only pay the people who are worth it uh and they'd really i mean they'd be milking the crap out of the people they do have to get every little bit of that whatever what is fifteen dollars out of them so what is the most um sophisticated way to solve this problem or i guess i should say the best way to solve this problem because obviously the wages are too low but raising the minimum wage isn't the answer well it's one we have a really big issue with the raise in schooling and certifications and all of that that it takes to work really low level jobs. I mean, competitive jobs are meant to be that way because the best person gets to go. So things like being a masseuse or being a chef or being a hairstylist, uh, being, you know, a designer, working for yourself, all these things you should be able to do this without having so many certifications but they charge you to do every little single thing this is preventing people from getting big startups with their small businesses or working for themselves and making money on their own and then paying taxes this is a huge huge problem and if this this certification this schooling or whatever doesn't get a reduction because it's basically forced i mean why do you have to pay so much money to go to school to be a masseuse or a hair designer or I'm sorry designer a hairdresser when you never had to do that before for beauty school I mean you're talking 10,000 18,000 20,000 for beauty school and I get that they're good schools but you don't come out there a master stylist making $50,000 a year so in the end it's really ridiculous uh, same thing with cooking $50,000 a year for a cooking school why it makes no sense so moving that aside the, reducing that will be the first step. Two, uh, create a mandatory raise every year. So if someone got a raise every single year, this would not be an issue. No one would be concerned about, uh, you know, if they were going to make more money the next year or the next year. If everybody gets mandatory raises once a year, then the companies will keep the people who are doing well and they lower the hours of the people who aren't doing well. This creates incentive for people to stay at companies and creates in companies companies an incentive to reward people who are profiting them, like a marriage. You know, if you stay in a marriage, a woman is entitled, if you know if two people have contributed to the success of something, they both are entitled to take back a little bit of what they contributed to the success for. Now if you're not you know, if you have a crazy employee, replace them. The reason most people can't replace them is because they're not creating any incentive for people to get hired because minimum wage is too low and any person should be able to do the job. Now, if you have a skilled job that you find it's hard to replace people, then you already know that you need to give people a couple more bucks an hour. Um, those are my solutions. If you disagree, please let me know. If you don't disagree, um, please uh, like and subscribe. And any other opinions, leave them in the